I cleaned the splines really well, re-lubed them with the Starbrogs paste. Probably saying that wrong, but uh, now we're gonna put the transmission back in. So let's see how this goes. I'll try to keep it recording while I'm doing it and we'll see how it comes out. All the way in. I'm going to put a little paste on these pins here too so I mean, next time it'll come out a little bit easier. It's just the pins to line up here. Feels like she's back in there. Okay, now I'm putting the two frame uh, bolts in to hold the transmission up here on the back part of the transmission. And these are torqued to 20 foot-pounds. I'll check that and make sure, but I believe it's 20 foot-pounds before I torque them down. Also put anti-seize on these. These were the hardest, hardest ones to get off um, on the bike. They, um, didn't seem to put any anti-seize on that before it was put together before. and so they were a little rusty um, so I cleaned them up a little bit put some anti-seize on it snug these up and then torque them down Okay, I have the transmission in, all the bolts torqued to 12 foot-pounds. Um, just wanted to show you real quick too what I used for the pins that uh, to slide the transmission in and out on. It's just two long bolts that I went and bought. Eight, I believe it was uh, eight millimeter threads, 1.25 I believe is the thread pitch. Um, <clears throat> And I just cut the heads off of them. I think these were four inch long bolts, maybe six inch, six inch I think it was. And uh, just cut the heads off of them. And they seem to work perfect. They held, held the transmission up nice and it slid in and out nicely on those. Um, I think these from BMW are like 50 bucks. So for 89 cents, I was able to make my own and I will keep these for next time. Okay, to get this boot on without pulling off, I just used a bungee cord to hold this this part of the fork or the uh, uh, clutch rod up, so I could get the boot slid on, and then we'll tighten it down. All right, next we're gonna uh, put the starter back in. So 
I'm going to do the same thing on these. Just use a little anti seize, copper anti seize on it. And the bolts, probably enough for both. And we're going to push the starter back in to line everything up. Okay, what I'm doing now is adjusting the clutch free play. I've already connected the, the clutch cable here. I cut a three inch piece of metal uh, or a piece of wire and I measured it from the top of the boot or top of the metal on the cable down to the the uh, you know, I can't think today. The uh, brass pin here, and it's three inches. And I adjusted it up at the top at the at the lever. So now I'm trying to get the clutch free play adjusted. So I've loosened this center bolt here, and you can rotate this till you can get the free play at the handlebars that you need. And it should be about five millimeters of free play at the handle and that's what I've got now so now I'm going to tighten that down Five, five millimeters of free play, so my clutch should be adjusted properly. All right. Okay, now I'm going to go ahead and work on putting my battery and the computer back in. So I'm going to start doing that. I went ahead while I had this all apart and I I think I'm going to stop actually here putting this part on because I wanted to get a uh, little connector for a trickle charger that I could hook up now because this battery is kind of a pain to get to. I have this one that has the uh, alligator clips on it but um, I want to get one that has the uh, holes to just screw right into the battery and then I can have this pigtail running out here. So I think I'm going to stop there and just uh, I can do the computer part of it in the seat later um, and we're going to move on from there. Okay, putting the exhaust on now, I've already slid the exhaust on. I haven't clamped anything down yet. Uh, I've got the exhaust bolts to line up here. Plant bolt is torqued to 15 pounds, uh, foot pounds. That's 
tightened down. So the exhaust is on. Now we should be to the swing arm. Got the splines lubed. Put that back on. Get them lined up. There we go. Back on. I'm gonna slide the swing arm on. And that's what I was afraid of. Come back out. Get it this way. Pause this for a minute. All right, putting in the swing arm fixed pivot screws. They're torqued to six foot pounds. Again, I, my torque wrench, I really need a better one. It won't go that low, so I'm just gonna hand tighten these and not tighten them very much because, you know, with a, the Allen bit but uh, I am putting anti seize on everything copper anti seize um, I don't want any of this stuff to not want to come back off next time it all seemed to come off really really well this time and if I own the bike or if somebody else owns the bike and does another service I want everything to come off just as easy as it did for me third screw. Too many tools up here. Oh, there it is. Snugging them up a little bit. Just wanted to do a little recap at the end here. Um, first of all, I just wanted to say thank you for watching these videos. I hope they're helpful to you. Um, just want to show you that as a beginner mechanic on motorcycles or a builder on motorcycles or if, even if you're doing a restoration on a motorcycle um, it can be done by a beginner with you know just following a manual um, if you have some mechanical skills to to do this work um, and there it's not very difficult these bikes are pretty easy to work on with just hand tools that you can pick up somewhere. Uh, it doesn't have to be the best of everything. Um, Harbor Freight sells some great tools that you can use to, to get started on. Um, but I tried to include in these videos some of the mistakes I made as well, um, like you know hooking up the clutch cable and adjusting all of that before I put the swing arm in, um, and then you know having to go back and remove the swing arm and put those, uh, put the swing arm in and then hook the clutch assembly up. I thought I could slide the clutch assembly in the drive shaft in while that clutch assembly was hooked up, but it, it wouldn't work. 
So I tried to include some of the things that I did wrong and uh, you know the first time and had to go back and, and redo. Um, I hope you like these videos and I'm sorry for some of the bad cam camera angle. I'm trying to work on that. I've never done a series like this before. So hope that this is helpful to you. Please like and subscribe. I had to cut the video of doing the installation of the transmission and the uh, drive, uh, the final drive and everything into two videos because they were just getting too long. So, um, and had to speed up some of the video footage, but hope this was helpful to you. If you uh, could like and subscribe, I would appreciate it. And I've got a lot more videos to come on this bike. And uh, like I said, I hope they're helpful. And I'm going to probably do some more videos on some other bikes that I'm working on as well. So uh, please like, subscribe, and, uh, and I appreciate your comments. Thank you very much.